Imagine going to visit a family member who's suffering from dementia in what you believe to be a care facility, only to find that they've been marked with one of the most hateful symbols in modern history. I'm Christina Howard, and that is exactly what happened when Shane Morrow came here to visit his uncle at the home behind me. He found that his uncle's head had been etched with a symbol that is synonymous with evil. It's a symbol of hate and it was etched on his uncle's head in permanent marker for at least a few days before Shane got there. He looked confused and scared, um, and we couldn't, we, we, we couldn't understand why. Um, I raised my eyes and I was like, do you see that on his head? And my mom said, what is that? And I said, take a, take a closer look. Well, it was actually a swastika. And, uh, you know, I was horrified and, uh, you know, my mom couldn't believe her eyes either. He says when he pointed it out to staff, they tried to start picking it off and told him that another resident has drawn it and they reported it to police. I asked the, um, the nurse who is supposed to be a nurse, um, you know, how did he get this on his head? And uh, she said that somebody did it to him and then that this gentleman was arrested. Call the police when you found the swastika on this gentleman's head. Why is all over you? Mm -hmm. I know. Did you ask to come in the building? Did you get permission to come in the building? I'm coming in here to visit, to visit his uncle. When we went to the home today, staff there refused to answer our questions. We found Larry Morrow sitting at a table alone, facing a wall, covered in porridge from a breakfast served hours earlier. It was horrible. I asked my brother, like, what's this? He said he dropped it. And I said, well, why are you still in this? And then he just sat there. Glendale Care Center is not a licensed long-term care home, but it is a licensed rooming home, something that's not entirely clear from its website. On the website, under its services section, 24-hour supervised care, an on-call nurse, and a house doctor is listed. The website also says it strives to care for residents with special needs. But when we arrived, several residents with various degrees of mental, physical, and developmental disabilities were seemingly unsupervised in a lounge. Staff were preparing lunch behind a barred off kitchen. To find a swastika on your, your loved one's top of his head, not only was it on the top of his head, but it was also apparently one was drawn on his back. And, you know, um, for somebody, um, you know, a professional nurse, as she says she was, wasn't able to tell me who did it. Um, and why it was done, you know, for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't, I, I don't know what to say. And this just in, City News cameras were on scene earlier this afternoon when a man was removed by police from this care facility and taken into custody. We've just learned that he has been arrested and charges are pending in relation to this swastika incident. Reporting from Queensway, Christina Howard, City News.